Okay, so as promised, I'm getting to this guy here. This is the Neanderthal from Aurora Prehistoric Scenes. I'm going to pull all the parts out here and I'll sh take a shot here in a minute. This is one I found on eBay. All the parts are painted already. Um, so, not badly painted, but I bought this with the intent of stripping it down and building it myself, which is exactly what we're going to do here. So let me grab something. Now, in the past, I've used Easy Off Oven Cleaner, and that's done a pretty good job of, of cleaning this off. Although, I think this is enamel, not acrylic, so I don't know what it's going to do. But we're going to find out. So, I will give you guys a, a quick shot of all the parts, and then I'm going to take this outside so I don't have to deal with the fumes, and spray all this down, and... Uh, hopefully strip off all this paint so all right that's where we're at um, let me get the other shots so I wanted to show this real quick uh, before I show the parts so with these snap together kits if um, if you're gonna build them yourself because I will be gluing these um, you can very carefully uh, disassemble them now I had this one piece here that apparently had been glued, so it didn't come come apart as nicely. But I'm going to finish that, and then I'll uh, I'll show you the parts. All right, here's the the parts disassembled. Some of them the pins broke. I can deal with that. That's not a huge deal. Um, this one here um, looks like it was glued to this base at one point and broke off. So, and it is, I think, supposed to be in two pieces, but I'm not going to get too crazy about it until after I've stripped it off. I suspect it's been glued. There were a few parts that were glued. Those are difficult to disassemble. Um, some of you can't disassemble at all. But anyway, here are the parts. We're going to uh, strip it down next. All right, so we're here. Trip it. Hold the camera with one hand and spray with the other. So I'm just going to coat all of these parts with the Easy Off Oven Cleaner. And hopefully get all this paint stripped off. Again, the plan is to strip all the paint off using the Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Looks like I'm going to need two hands for this, so I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this, and I'll come back later. Alright, that's all the parts sprayed down. We're going to leave it out here so I don't have to deal with the fumes. And hopefully in about a day or so, all that paint will be stripped off or mostly stripped off. All right, so the parts have been sitting in the Easy Off oven cleaner for a day. And we're going to see, here they all are. And we're going to see how well of a job it did. Um, and if this doesn't work, then we're going to try something else. I may have to order the something else online, but let's just see. This is, I'm wiping this off right now. Some of it's coming off, um, but a lot of it is not. Some of the stuff on the caveman itself was coming off like pretty the brown was coming off pretty easy as you can see there um, so 
maybe do another round don't know uh, I'm gonna tinker and I'll come back with results thanks so I have decided I'm gonna give it another shot with the easy off oven cleaner I have actually found that the po parts that were most submerged in the easy off oven cleaner actually got a lot of paint off so it may be something that takes a few times so I'm going to give it another round here, and we'll see where this ends up. More to come. And we're back. So what I was discovering last night was that some of the paint was coming off, and maybe some of it needed a second coat, and maybe some of it needed some scrubbing help. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scrub through what I can and see how much further we can get along. So that's where we're at. So I've gotten the parts mostly clean. These over here are the ones that needed work and these didn't have any paint on them. I went through with the easy off oven cleaner a few times on these. Um, some of them just needed once, a few needed more. And uh, then I went on everything I did, cleaned them with the Windex and then uh, final wash down with just water here <clears throat> it was not perfect some of these I did not get everything off I tried um, the blacks the dark greens and some of the grays were just stubborn and so what I ended up doing was getting to a point where either all of it was off which like on our Neanderthal man face in front, uh, that actually came up pretty good. But on things like this little shrub tree thing, um, not so much. But I got to a point where, okay, I can at least, if I cover it with primer, it won't show or show enough to be worried about. So... That's where we're at now. The next part is going to be assembly. And I think I'm going to assemble it just like the box where he's holding the rock. That's what I'm thinking right now. I will paint all the parts. And it looks like I've got parts from two different kits. So that's going to be interesting. I may actually save the unpainted parts that I don't need so that may be for a future kit or something um and i may change my mind i may not do the rock after all now that i look at this i may do something else anyway that's where we're at right now i will probably get back to this this evening and make some decisions i do know that on some of these the pins broke um so i'm going to be but the fit's pretty good, so I, I think I'll be able to glue these back into place despite broken pins. We'll see how it goes. More to come.
All right, so it's been a little bit since I've had any updates, and there are a bunch of things that have gone on here. Um, shelves, lighting, here and there. Um, so hopefully you can see things better, not so shadowy. Um, like how the shelves are coming along. Uh, so there have been some, some changes. All right, let's talk about our, our guy here. All right, like I said last time, uh, I wanted to do it this way, but it was missing the arm that would allow that, uh, particularly the right arm that's gripping the uh, outrageously huge club with a spike coming out of it. Um, okay. Um, so we're going with this version. To that end, I have assembled and puttied and sanded down this rock. I have also assembled, I'm not sure where this goes, but we've got this log piece that I may do need to do a little more putting on the inside. It's uh, maybe okay. Um, so I had a big seam down the middle um, and a seam here and I've sanded this down, putted it down. To do the putting on this, um, to get a texture, I used a toothbrush to get a little more texture to it. Uh, I've got, this base was broken here at these two points. So I'm going to primer them separately, paint them separately, join them together, and if need be, do some touch-up painting. Uh, got this, gonna prime that uh, nameplate. So on our Neanderthal man, I've got, I just got these clamps from Walmart. I like them. I wish I'd gotten a couple more and I may, in the next few days, go back and get more. Um, but, let's see, let's see, I'm talking about them. I should show them to you. All right. I do have, there's a gap here that this one's holding on to, a gap on the torso. Then I'm going to come back and cement the gap between the, on the head, between the have halves, and then use one of the clamps to glue that down. Um... So this may be another day or so. Anyway, um, then I will putty, um, probably with Milliput, and sand down the seams there, and then prime that. I was gonna do the leg, prime the legs separate, but I decided to do it all, do the assembly, um, because when I go to paint this. I want the paint on the loincloth to to match up, so I'm doing the assembly all at once to facilitate that. All right, that's where we're at right now. Got to let things dry, um, finish off the head, do some priming, and I'll come back and we'll see where I'm at. Thanks for joining me.
Okay, lots happened. Haven't been able to film as much of it as I would like, but here's where we're at here. I've got the base done and painted. Um, pretty happy with it. Lots of stippling and then washes and dry brushing through here um, with at least, in most cases, three colors. Uh, a dark, mid, and light tone. So I've pretty much got this where <clears throat> I where I'm happy with it. Um, I may come around the edge with a darker brown here, but I think this is pretty much going to be it. Um, of course, our Neanderthal man will s sit on there, and then he'll have the boulder in his hands. Uh, the boulder's done too. Uh, same with the rocks on this. Um, stippling and uh, multiple layers of color. And then I did, did a final like wash of a, I think it's Panzer Ace's light rubber to finish it off. Um, I've got this nameplate done not perfect i'm still working on my technique on this but it's where i can live with it got the log here too again a mid i'm sorry a dark mid and light tone on that so that part's done what i'm working on right now is our neanderthal man when I painted this originally, and you can see this here, I did a light flesh tone, apparently super light because it's come right off. Um, and painting the, the loincloth here has been a little bit of a challenge because I assembled it before I painted it. I was thinking, went back and forth on this. I decided to assemble first because it had um, I wanted the colors to match between the legs and the body and the, the loincloth to meet between the upper and lower. Um, and I think if I had to do it again, I'd modify that. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to move away from the flesh tone. I'm going to work on the... Uh, loincloth first get that done then mask it off and uh, then work on the flesh tone um, the I think I'm gonna do a, a, a darker wash on the loincloth and then come back and do a light tone on the fur and on the underside that's doesn't have fur um, I'm gonna do something similar so that's where we're at. Then I'll come back. I'll do the hair. Then I'll work on the face and then the rest of the body and get it all matched up. You know, of course, with all this masked. So a lot more work to do. Um, but it's getting there. More to come.
lot has gone by on our Neanderthal man here. So I finished it up as about as finished as this one's going to get. I think I have a lot to learn still about painting people, but it's okay. I'll, I'll live with it. This was a practice piece just to kind of get to know or introduce myself back to this kit, which I built as a kid many, many years ago. Many years ago. Um, so here he is. <clears throat> um, the base was pretty straightforward uh, to, to build and paint. The pin had broken off in this tree, so I had to sand it down and work it. Um, the whole kit had to be stripped down with Easy Off Oven Cleaner uh, to strip the paint off of it um, before I was able to get into it to paint it. Um, so, uh, some lessons learned. I think that if I were to do this again, which I'm sure I will, I would make some decisions about skin color in the loincloth, uh, make some decisions about what I was going to paint those or how I was going to paint those first. Then I would paint the legs and the, the loincloth underneath because it goes under as well. Uh, and then paint that that way mask it off and then do the rest of the assembly uh, because there are places that you need to fill gaps which mostly was okay here the ribs uh the seam along the rib cage went pretty well the shoulders are kind of wonky but then it's meant to be, almost be a toy to be able to move back and forth so the alignment's okay. Um, uh, for the painting of the base, for the dirt and the, especially the rocks, you used kind of stippling and did it in layers. The same with the boulder here that he's carrying. Um, the paint, <clears throat> another lesson learned. The paint that I used for the flesh tone, I found out later was an airbrush paint, so it's much thinner. So it rubs off very easily. I probably, if um, probably if I do this again and run into a similar problem, probably ought to paint it after it's done. Paint it with a dull coat so that the paint doesn't rub off so easily. Um, otherwise, um, pretty decent build. I'm um, not perfect, like I said. I need to work on painting people. So, face is okay. And he, his eyes don't look too crazy because the eyes are hard. Um, the base came out okay. I think that in the future, I'll back off just a little bit. Um, I think that in the future, I may try a technique where I spray paint the uh, the base in a bronze with a couple of coats, maybe then a clear coat or two, and then come back with a, uh, a wash of the black and do that in layers and wash it and then wipe it off the lettering, wash it and then wipe it off the lettering and see if I don't get a better result. That's an experiment I have in mind. We'll see what happens. So again, here's our Neanderthal man, um, which we now know Neanderthals did not look quite like this. Um, but, oh, I, I did... Uh, use super glue to glue the uh, the boulder in and um, glue him to the base. I usually don't glue things to bases, but I think this needed it. <clears throat> no, new tool that I was able to use to hold the 
body parts together as gluing them and to hold the boulder um, are these guys. This is hyper tough four inch mini bar clamp that I got for three dollars at Walmart and they're really good. They've got a little button that uh, you can push to be able to move that and then a little uh, trigger here to tighten it up. I got I went back and got more of this recommend this tool all right so that's our Neanderthal man I think this is gonna be the next project here pull it over <clears throat> is this guy here this is the monogram Tyrannosaurus Rex which is a repop let me get it here and even this is a repop Repopula of the um, Aurora Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is the Atlantis repop of that as well that came in a after that. Uh, but and this, but this is the original Aurora. At least my understanding is this is the original Aurora um, artwork. So this is going to be my next one. Um, because it's just it takes up so much real estate on my shelf here so i want to get this guy done and it's a huge kit it's i'm already mentally putting together how i'm going to make it happen anyway this is going to be the next thing and my girlfriend suggested that i do the aurora prehistoric scenes tar pit um, that was her suggestion. I think that one's going to come after this. So, all right. Well, again, thanks for joining me for the Neanderthal man. And we'll have more to come later. Thank you.